All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting over here in the Freedom Office. Uh, pretty cool things getting ready to happen. We got Ultradyne getting ready to come up. We're also going to be doing a Economy line red dot. And then there's another dot that looks a lot like uh, an aim point that's coming out that's about half the price. So we're going to be doing some stuff on that as well. And then uh, I'm really excited because of my energy is getting back to where I'm going to be able to do some more videos just like we have today. Uh, tabletop reviews. It's going to be a lot of fun. So with that being being said i want to give uh, richard one a big old shout out thanks you my airborne brother sent me an article in associated press news ap news i guess and and this is uh, authored by hannah hannah schoenbaum on february 15th that was a couple days ago uh <laughs> And there's an interesting photo of somebody named Allison Dahl on this picture. I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it right here. Uh, pink hair and all. So anyway, in North Carolina, we have carry concealed license. Okay. Also, we have open carry, which is really cool because if you are can legally own a firearm, uh, you can open carry anywhere you want. Long rifle, pistol, it doesn't matter. Uh, unless it's a bank, school, courthouse uh public transportation uh probably uh, concerts things like that where they don't want people carrying guns so but this is really big because this is involving a situation where they're saying there was a time and place where you could not carry a gun and that was a place of worship now let me get to you. uh this uh huh. raleigh north carolina associated press or ap news north carolina house republicans and some democrats passed a previously vetoed gun bill wednesday that opponents warned could endanger children and teachers okay so, so it's amazing anybody with a gun is an evil individual and that's the interesting part about it because this pink haired individual, I might do a little uh, research on Allison A. Dahl. Anybody who goes out in public looking like that, unless it's, uh, you know, awareness of uh, cancer. The House voted 77 to 43 to approve the measure, which would let people with concealed weapons permit carry openly or under clothing while attending religious services at locations where private or charter schools also meet. This is pretty cool. You got to think about what was the church shooting out there a little while ago uh, where the guy came in and decided he was going to open fire and uh, the gentleman put him out. This is it. So this is the funny thing, but they always go back to, well, but you could, children can be harmed. Well, shit, they're going to get killed. Period. <laughs> Six Democrats joined all Republicans in voting for it, indicating a potential override of any veto by Democrat Governor Roy Cooper, who blocked an identical bill in 2021 indicating a potential override of any veto. Okay, Republican lawmakers and several clergy members testified this week that the houses of worship in question do not have an equal opportunity to protect congregates compared with churches that do not house schools and are not affected by blanket prohibitions. In other words, uh, you could have a, a temporary church, okay, that would hold services in a school and this prevented them from being able to carry a firearm. And their supporters said gun-free religious sites should, could be easy targets for violent attacks, citing recent incidents of shooters targeting congregations. Uh, Representative Jeff McNeely, an Iredell County Republican, uh, by the way, uh, grew up in Iredell County, uh, and Bill's primary sponsor said the proposal would fix a loophole preventing some churchgoers from exercising their Second Amendment rights. They should be able to protect themselves like all other parishioners do at other churches who do not have schools on the grounds, he said. I agree. Uh, I gotta be honest with you. Um, I travel so much and I'm away from home. Uh, being with my kids and everybody else is pretty important to me. So we really have put going to church on every Sunday on the back burner. But even when I went to church, I always had my firearm with me. No matter, no one's going to tell me unless somebody's sitting there with a gun and a badge, I'm carrying under the bill. Guns would not be permitted on campus during school hours or when students are present for extracurricular activities. Houses of worship could opt out by posting signs banning guns from the property. I don't know anybody, or I don't know any churches that I know of that would do that. Democratic opponents of the measure said gun owners might not understand those restrictions or could accidentally leave their weapons on campus. That's actually happened. Uh, I've got a relative of mine out in uh, Raleigh, and a, an individual, I'm not going to say names or anything else, actually left a backpack in the public library with her firearm in it. 
and she was an NRA instructor. Uh, yeah. What I don't want to see happen is a lawful gun owner leaving their gun in a classroom on a Sunday after church, and that gun be found by a student on Monday. Representative Terry Brown Jr., a Mecklenburg County Democrat. Of course, it had to be Mecklenburg County. The most liberal, well, other than the other counties over there, Guilford County, uh, Raleigh, those areas. Another previously vetoed House bill that could receive a floor vote this week would eliminate a longstanding requirement that handgun buyers first obtain a permit from their county sheriff. That'll probably never go away. Also Wednesday, a House Judiciary Committee advanced a bipartisan, bipartisan proposal that would launch a two-year education campaign on safe firearm storage and also distribute free gun locks. They do that shit already. Every time you buy a firearm, guys, a gun lock comes with it. In the Senate, three identical companion bills were combined Tuesday into a single piece of legislation that is expected to reach the floor this week. It is unclear whether the Senate will take up a standalone bill passed by the House or move forward with a combined proposal. Uh, Hannah Schumbaum is core member. Okay, so anyway, that's it. Uh, this goes along with Mecklenburg County, where I currently live. Uh, the sheriff is being sued, and we'll do a video on that maybe tomorrow or Sunday. But they're being sued because, and this goes in part of one of the things that's happening to me right now, uh, my uh, concealed carry uh, permit is about to expire. And they won't let you reapply for it in, in less than, well, you have you can't, in 45 days, they won't let you apply, reapply further out. It has to be within the 45-day period, but it almost takes them six to eight months to get it approved because you've got to go through all the, the, whatever, the mental background checks and everything else. And I asked the lady at the county, I said, well, what if, what happens when it expires? She goes, don't worry about it. Well, what if I'm out of state and I'm not worrying about it and a reciprocal state and somebody, well, anyway, long story short, you know where to drift. We'll do a video on that one here coming up soon. All right. So anyway, uh, thanks, Richard. Appreciate it. Airborne all the way. Uh, thanks for very much for bringing us. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to Hamburg done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform. 24-7 for our freedoms. Freedom is not free. KB32, I am out of here. You got to send me some articles. Talk to you later. Boom.